Welcome to another class of Digital Design with Brilog. In this class, we will discuss about FSM optimizations. FSM optimizations means there are two parts. So, in this case, so one part is state reductions. We will try to reduce the number of states and another one is we will try to encode the states, FSM state encoding. So, outline of uh, today classes is FSM optimizations. So, particularly this class, we will discuss about state minimizations. We will try to reduce number of states of an FSM of a FSM and there are two three methods are available so for us so one is a row matching method another is partitioning method implication chart method so today we will mostly focus on row matching method and partitioning methods and FSM optimization of particularly state encoding we will do uh, in the next classes what is state minimizations so minimizing the number of state we want to minimize the number of state we want to reduce the number of states so, if you reduce the number of state, what will happen? So, it will require, so FSM require requirement of a bigger size state register. So, it will reduce then uh, uh, state register size will reduce. So, if suppose number of state is 8 and if you reduce to 4, then uh, state register size will be 2 if you reduce to 4. Suppose the number of state is 5 and it reduce to 4, then uh, number of state register will reduce from 3 to 2 and possibly redu reduction in combinational circuit complexity particularly next state logic for the FSM will reduce because number of state will be less in the reduced FSM and uh, the material we are taking from uh, these two books particularly section 14.6 or 14.7 of uh, Kumar book Anand Kumar A. Anand Kumar book fundamental of digital circuit and another thing is uh, section 8.1 of uh, Catch book, so Randy H. Catch and uh, Boy Yellow, so contemporary logic design. So, these two big uh, mostly will follow for this particular lectures. Let us uh, look at some definitions. Uh, one definition is uh, state equivalence. So, particularly the state optimizations or state minimizations, we are uh, looking from the example point of view, we are not looking at proof. So, proof uh, uh, we want proof, then proof is given in many theory of computation courses particularly state minimizations uh, proper formal definitions are available there but in this course particularly digital logic uh, digital design with the uh, very log in this course we will looked at uh, from the uh, approach and example point of view not the from the proof point of view for particularly fsm minimizations state equivalence so state s1 and s2 are equivalent if for every input sequence applied to the machines goes to the same next state and output then you can say two state s1 s2 are equivalent another thing is uh, if uh, s s1 t plus 1 equal to s2 t plus 1 this is the next state so next take from the both the state s1 and s2 so for the same input it is going to the same next state and also the output of the next state is same so, output of the particular state S1 and S2 are same. So, for the S1 also output suppose Z1 and for S2 the sub output is Z2 and Z1 is equal to Z2 then we can say family S1 is equal to S2. This is also standard definitions. It is available in most of the uh, theory of computations group and here also in this our reference book also it is available. So, what is distinguishable state? So, let us look at another definitions. Distinguishable states two states S1 and S2 are distinguishable if and only if there exist at least one finite input sequence which produce different output from S1 and S2. So, this is distinguishable states so, that means uh, this is exactly opposite of state equivalence. So, two state S1 and S2 are distinguishable if and only if there exist at least one finite input sequence which produces different output from S1 and S2. This is two definitions we are seeing. So, one is state equivalence, other is distinguishable state. And based on these two definitions, we will try to minimize the FSM. So, FSM optimization method or minimization method, particularly we looked at FSM state optimization given FSM. Goal is to reduce number of state of FSM. Okay. So, we looked at uh, two methods, particularly row matching method. So, where uh, the machine is completely specified machines, so n square edges, so number of times on will be n square, so n square edges can be and 
partially specified machines, this was also partially specified machines, but we looked at uh, completely specified machines and method 2 is uh, partitioning methods. So, and third one is implication chart method. So, but today classes we looked at method 1 and method 2, row matching method and partitioning methods. So, what is row matching methods? So, let us take with the examples. So, we will use the two definitions. So, equivalent state and distinguishable states. So, for input sequence two state S1, S2, if uh, for input sequence if it is producing different output then they are different. Okay, so, let us look at with from the example point of view. So, sequence data let us take an example. Let us uh, design FSM where sequence detector for 0, 1, 0 or 1, 1, 0. So, inputs are coming in a sequence. Okay. So, x is input suppose input are coming in a sequence and after each 3 bit of input sequence if it consists of 1, 1, 0 or 0, 1, 0 output a 1 otherwise output 0. So, this is the problem and for this suppose we designed the system or FSM like this suppose you have designed a FSM after each 3 bit sequence if it consists of 110 and 010 output ones. So, we have designed uh, the problem FSM problem like this which is very simplistic in this case. Initially you are in start state okay, you are in start state and whenever you are getting 0 you are getting a 0 going to S1 state and outputting 0 and in this case this FSM is a Melly FSM, Melly FSM where output is shown in the transition edges. So, this one is input, this is input and this is output and if you are getting a input 1 and you are in state S0 then you are going to S2. Then from S2 clearly you can see so there are sequence input sequence 0 1 0. So, if you are getting a 0 1 and 1. So, this sequence we are getting a 1 and another case 1. So, this case 1 1 and 0. So, 1 1 0 and uh, 0 1 0. So, this case 1 1 0 and so initially you are getting a 0 1 1. So, in this case you are getting 0 1 1 and in this case uh, you are getting a 0 1 0 then we are getting the output. So, if you go back to this thing 0 1 0 and 1 1 0. So, in this case uh, clearly we are getting the output for these two cases we are getting the what I can say output 1. So, is this FSM is optimized? Question is, is this FSM is optimized? We can see the answer. So, once you looked at the states, okay, so whether this uh, FSM is optimized or not. So, let us look at the tabular form of the FSM. So, in this tabular form, so we are showing initially it is a reset state. So, initially it will be in S1 and you can see the all states states represented using a sets S0, S1, S2, S3, S4 and S5, S6 and clearly if you look at from the definitions. So, what is equivalent state? So, two state are equivalent if uh, for input sequence if it produces the same output and also it goes to next time state. So, if you look at S4 and S6. So, for every input sequence for 0 input sequence 0 it going to S0 and for 1 it is going to S0 and producing 1 and 0 and for this also S6 also it is S0, S0 for both the inputs it is going to S0 and for x is equal to 0 it is produce, producing a 1 and for 1 it is producing a 0. So, that means clearly these two states they are equivalent. So, particularly they are equivalent also they are in this case. So, S4 and S6 are different edge compared to other states. So, if you look at, so these are zeros, these are this uh, green marker 1 and other are 0. So, clearly what we can say S4 and S6 are different edge compared to other 6 other states S0, S1. S2, S3 and S5. So, these two sets are different. So, S4 and S6 are different as compared to other state based on the output. 
and also we can say because S4 and S6 have the same next state, if you look at for both it is same and also output also same because S4 and S6 have same next state and same output they are same. So, this is equivalent. So, clearly S4 and S6 are not different. So, they are same. So, why not to merge into one state because S4 and S6 have same next state and output they are same or merging into one state. So, we are not putting two state S4 and S6 instead we are putting S4 dex one state. Now, reduce FSM after merging S4 and S6 to S dex this is the reduce FSM ok. Now, this input also we are merging in this case and we are putting one state S4 dex. Now, if we look at the things next state of S1, S2 if you look at next state of S1, S2 next state of S1, S2. So, if you look at these are the next state of S1. So, these are the next state of S3, S5 and this is S4 ok. Next state of S1, S2 are different as compared to S0, S3 and S5. Currently, you are in all S0, S1, S2, S3 and S5 in same state, same set. Now, we say because in this case S1, S2 for x is equal to 0 it is going to this set and x is equal to 1 it is going to other sets. So, clearly you can see and for for S3 and S5 ok. So, you will get for S0, S3 and S5 what happening. So, for both x0 and x1 it is going to the same set it is going to the same sets clearly it is going to the same set for both the things but earlier case for s1 and s2 it is going to for x0 for input 0 it is going to the first set for x is equal to 0 it is going for this thing it is going to other sets so clearly it says so s1 s2 are different as compared to S0, S3 and S5. So, clearly what S1, S2 are different as compared to S0, S3 and S5. Let us see what we can do. Now, look at S3 and S5 ok because this thing same thing we are looking at. So, now look at S3 and S5. S3 and S5 they have same next state, same next state also same output. If S3 and S5 have same next state and same output then you can say they are same. So, clearly S3 and S5 this two S3 and S5 they are same. So, what we are doing is S3 S5 we are renaming to S3 des ok. So, here we are putting input also. Okay. Now, look at S1, S2. S1, S2 have same next state and output. Now, S1, S2 have if you look at both are same, here both are same and here also same, here also same because S1, S2 now have same next state and same output. So, they are same. If you look at S1, S2, so this thing also it is same. So, why not to put S1 dash? Okay. And now, still these two are in same group ok. So, now say S0 and S3 dex are different state as their next state are different S0 and S3 dex. If you look at S0 and S3 dex, if you look at for this case, so it is going to this one are different, this is going to different. So, these are different and also these are different. This is going to this places for next state it is going to this places, but for this cases it is going to S3 and S4. So, for this case it is going to this place and it is going to this places. Clearly, we can say S3 dash and S0 are different state. So, clearly now these two are, are saying that it is two distinguishable state and there are four distinguishable state in this case and no further matching is possible and this one is this table is 
reducible. So, this is row matching method because row matching method means we are specifying the FSM in tabular form, then we are trying to do row matching and try to reduce. And the same tabular forms, so let us make it into what I can say graphical form. This is our reduced FSM. And now reduced FSM has uh, how many states? Clearly, four states. Earlier it was more number of states. Okay. Now it is reduced to only four states. Now four state means we can manage it to deep flip flop for implementations because we require two side state because of four states. And output logic and next state logic will be much simpler because now number of state is reduced. What is the difficulty or what is the problem with row matching methods? So, this is the this left side one is FSM for odd parity checkers. Okay. So, already we have discussed earlier. So, this is FSM, this is the uh, Moore FSM for odd parity checkers and what odd parity checker it does? So, whenever the number of one received by the circuit is even, then it produce a 0, otherwise it produces a 1. So, number of res one received by 1 is odd, then it produces a 1. So, this is the output. So, and this is actually means uh, for the same problem, this is also another FSM. This one is may not be reduced, but uh, right here is another FSM, it also works. Okay. So, initially you are in state 0 and till you get a uh, 0, then you are in state 0. Okay. So, and you produce a 0. Whenever you get a 1, then it comes to S1 states. Okay. Then whenever you are producing a another 1, you come to S2 state. In this state, your output is 1. So, once you come back to these places, there is no way you, you can go to the S0 state, okay, but it will revolve in S1 and S2. Okay, but initially, it comes to suppose S0 states. Okay, so, in this case, suppose that this is the initial state. This also works same as this earlier, but using row matching method, it is very difficult to minimize this. FSM using row matching methods, two alternate bit state diagrams and identical output behavior on all input string. And FSM are equivalent, but uh, require different implementation because one is having three state, other is having only two states. So, if you look at the state forwards to understand the row matching method is very easy to understand. The problem is it do not allow yield the most least states. So, in this case, there is no way to combine S0 and S2 based on the next state circuit. If you look at S0 and S2, S0, S2, they produce what? Output 0, because this from S0, if it is 0, it goes to S0 and if it is 1, it goes to S1. This thing is fine, but for this cases, from S2, it goes to S2, because it is not same initially because it need to go to the same state and here if you assume S0, S2 are same state, then only you can say it goes to the same state, but without this assumptions it goes to because till now we are thinking of trying to map S0 and S2 to combine, but before combination we need to check whether they are same state or not and if you look at from S0 it is going to S0 and S1 and from here it is going to S2, S1 because it is going to different state. For this case, it is fine, but for this case, it is not matching. This is all next state and output should match, but in this case, it is not matching. Because it is not matching, the simple row matching method will not work here. And based on output, based on the output, this is the S0, S1 we are grouping and this is S1 and now we cannot do further division. Partitioning method, this is another method, partitioning methods, but similar to row matching with uh, uh, we are creating a set and based on that looking from the set, we are trying to partition the things based on the next state behaviors and output behaviors. So, let us uh, describe the procedure of the partitioning 
method of minimizations. So, form a initial partitions P1 that include all the states. Okay. So, form a second partition from P2 by separating the state into two blocks based on their output values. Form a third partition by separating the states blocks corresponding to the next state values and continue this thing. So, continue this thing until two successive partition are the same. So, this things repeated, this things repeated. So, this is the for initial partitions, this is the first one and this is the many time we repeats and this is the when we stops. So, whenever two successive partitions are same. Let us look at this procedure with example. So, all the states in any one blocks are equivalent, equivalent state can be combined into single states. Okay. So, let us take a this examples. So, this is a state minimizations examples. So, this is the state. Let us look at this uh, FSM whether this FSM is optimized or not or can we further reduce this FSM and this one is clearly a example of Moore FSM. So, on state the output is defined, on state output is defined and for every state we can see. So, red is actually transition for one input, these are the transition for one input, red is transition for one input. So, clearly how many states? 7 states in this case and 7 states there will be 7 red lines, 1 transitions and 7 black line for 0 transitions. So, this is a, a FSM state diagram for some problems. So, let us look at how we can minimize this state. Okay, so, this is a same tabular representation of the same FSM. Okay. So, this is more FSM, this is output is depend upon the states okay output a uh, clearly you can see in this case output for state a b c not a b c it is output for a b and d so output are 1 1 1 clearly i can say state a b and d are different as compared to c e f g because in row matching method also we did same thing okay so initial partitions so, initial partitions all the states of the state diagram or table we are putting and based on the output. So, these are the output different output these are one output another is zero output. So, clearly A, B and D, A, B, D are different as compared to C, E, F, G. So, other states. So, there are seven states here three and four divisions for three it is one output is one for another four this one is for this four output is 0. So, that is a clearly we can say state A, B and D are different as compared to C, E, F, G state C, E, F, G separate state based on the next state value then from partition 2 try to separate based on the next state value. Here we are showing in a means decision diagram kind of tree. So, here, here state A, B, D from A, B, D if you get a 0 then what values you are getting. So, if you go back to things A, B, D. So, if you look at A, B, D. So, for 0 we are getting B, D, B, B, D, B. Okay. So, what you are saying B, D, B. Here you are for 0 we are getting B, D, B. Similarly, from state A, B, D if you are getting a 1 we are going to C, F, G. A similar for this also we are trying to tabulate for 0 we are getting f f e f and for this case we are going e c d g. From state c e f g where we are going? So, from state c e f g if we are getting a 1 we are going to e c d and g e c d g that thing we are repeating nothing else. E C D G and clearly from this we can see so look at D for this 0 case D B B D B B D B. So, B D B. So, it is from the same sets. So, if you look at this all values B D and B from the this set C F G you will get 
C F G it is from this, this set F E F F E F this is from this set but in this case if you look at E C E C from the this set and D from this set and which because this things D is different this D is different it is from other sets so clearly you can say D is not from C F G other are from C F G so what what thing is D is from C F G and D is not from C F G and other from C F G so what it signifies it signifies that this from this C G and F F is little bit different F is little bit different from this we can say F is different and this is unique state F is unique state it is not same as C E G from partition 3 now let us look at now F is different ok. So, A B D whatever things D B B and C F G. So, earlier here C F G were there now F is different because F is different already it was in C F G earlier now F is separated then this C F G here F is different because F is different in this case B will be different. So, clearly F is not from the set C E G but C G are from the this thing. So, it says that between A and D because this is in the middle C and G this is A and D are same B is different. So, clearly this guy is a unique one. So, this is unique state. So, this one is unique state ok. And now separate the state based on the next state now current partition is A D C E G F and B and now there is no way once we can partition there is a same as previous partitions now we will not be able to do the partitions ok. So, if you try this thing so how it happens it goes to the same states same partitions now P 4 and P 5 are same. So, now P 4 equal to P 5 partition 4 is equal to partition 5 and it says that uh, the state A and D are equivalent C E G are equivalent F is unique and B is unique. So, it says a and D are equivalent, C, E and G are equivalent and this is the partition, this is the last partition, P4 and P5 are same, so P4 partition and this is B is unique and F is unique and this FSM can be realized with 4 states ok. So, earlier it was 7 state, now it is 4 state and from this partitioning based method, so we can argue that this is very very easy to do and we can manage with only 4 states ok. So, this is the state minimizations one ok and this is the minimize table. So, earlier we had uh, how many 7 state now we have removed D E and G we have state A C B F. So, A B C and F and this is the minimize table and this is the minimize diagrams. So, table one is tabular form showing the FSM in tabular form or one is showing the FSM in graphical form. This one is showing table in graphical form. Let us take the same examples ok. So, earlier examples. So, whether this thing can be done with row minimizations method or not or this already we have done with row minimizations. This thing we are trying to do with uh, partitioning methods. So, we look at the partitioning method first one is uh, partition based on the first one initial partitions from P 1 to P 2 we are coming with only output based on the output we are separating. Next one is if you look at the things so for which one which is going. So, for this set S 0, S 1, S 2, S 3 and S 5 S 0, S 2 if you look at the things for 0 it is going to this thing for 0 for 0 it is going to S 1, S 3, S 5, S 0 and S 0 look at this set this thing for a uh, for 1 it is going to S 2, S 4, S 5, S 0, S 0 and if you look at green part green part this is S 0 this is green part is same 
But if you look at this thing, particularly these things, it is going to the different one. So, particularly this yellow one, S4 and S6. This S4 and X6 is different as compared to this because S4 and X6 are separated and this case S2, S0 and S2, S2, S0 and S0. These are from the same set. That means yellow part is different as compared to the green part. For input 1, there are two clear sets. So, one is a yellow set, other one is green set. Okay. So, green set correspond to the initial this one and yellow set correspond to the this set. That means clearly you can say S1, S2 are different. Clearly in this case, this S1, S2 because it is in yellow set, okay, yellow and green are different. So, what you are saying is this is actually yellow set and this is actually green set. So, these two are different. So, S1, S2 are different as compared to S0, S3 and S5. And if you continue for S0, S3 and S5, so then what you are getting? So, S0, S3 and S5. So, if you look at for S0, S3 and S5. So, for S1, for S0 it is going to S1, this is yellow one. And for S3 and S5, it is going to green one. Okay, for it is going to S0. So, it is going to these places. Okay, and for 0, 1, it is going to other places. Okay, so, it is going to other places and for this case, for 1, for S0, it is going to 1 places, for S3 and S5, it is going to S0, that means blue area, so S0 area. So, if you look at it is going to S0 area, so S0 area is, if you look at S0 is same, this area, okay. so this S0 area is same area. But for both the for 0 cases and 1 cases it is going to different area. So, from this we can say S0 is different as compared to S0 is different as compared to S3 and S5. And directly you can say S0 is different as compared to S3 and S5. That is why we are repenting. So, here S4, S6, S1, S2 and now from, from this set we are saying S3 and S5 are different as compared to S0. Okay. And if you do this thing, so the same thing where S0 are separated, then S4, S6. So, if you look at for S4, S6, it is going to the same places. So, S0, so if you look at S4, S6, S4 and S6, it is going to the same S0 for both the cases. S2, if you look at S1, S2, S1 and S2, S1, S2, it is goes to S3, S5, S3, S5, S3, S5 also same here and S4, S6, if you look at S4, S6, this one is S4, S6 and if you look at this yellow is going to this and this is, this is going to same, this is going to same, okay and for S3 also it is going to the same color. So, it says, so S1, S2 is same set same states and S3, S5 also same states it says no further reduction possible. So, clearly what we are getting is actually S4, S6 are same, S3, S5 are same and S1, S2 are same. So, what it says we are saying, so th this thing we can make it actually S1 dash, this is making an S3 dash and you can it this make it S4 dash for this. So, clearly there are 4 states in FSM. Okay. So, no further partition possible and now this is the final one. And if you look at state minimizations, so this thing mapped S1, S2, S1 dash and S3, S5, S3 dash and S4, S6, S4 dash. So, this is the minimized one. So, clearly the minimized one by using partitioning method, we did it and finally, we came up with uh, only 4 states for this. And this is the minimized one and clearly you can see the color shows the, this is the S0 and this is for this thing. Okay. And this is for green, it is showing 
colored is shown and for S3, S5, we look at S3, S5, okay, this is also S3, S5 shown and S4, S6, if you look at S4 and S6, so this one is uh, S4, S6 and here also coming for the same, okay. So, in this way, it is minimized and this is minimized FSM is this one. So, in earlier method also, we have used got the same thing. Now, in this method also, we got the same FSM. So, we have taken we have taken the same examples for row matching method also for partitioning methods to get the concept clear and the earlier example of parity checkers with the row matching method it was difficult to solve but with the partitioning method it is easier okay so this thing already you have seen and with the partitioning methods was not possible with the row matching method why? Because these two are from S2 it is going to S2 and S1, it is from going to S1 and S0. With row matching method, row need to be matched properly because for S0 it is going to S0, S1 and for S2 it is going to S2. These things is not matching. So, these two things are not matching. Even it logically is going to the same partitions, but not going to the same state. That is why row matching method will say will not be able to do, but with partitioning methods we can do with, but it is possible to do the minimizations with partitioning method because S0 and S1, S2 are same because if you look at S0, S2, okay, so it is goes to same color. So, for S0, S2, so S0, S2, if we do a partitioning method based on the input, then it is for 0 input it is going to S0 and S2, same sets, same partitions. So, for this set, for input 0, it is going to same set, for an input 1, it is going to the same sets. So, what it says, that means whatever the things available in this set, S0, S2 are same, they are equivalent. With partitioning method, we can say these are equivalent, S0, S2. But with row matching method, we are not able to see. So, partitioning method is little bit improved method as compared to the row matching methods. Okay. Thank you.